This week's episode of Donation is brought to you by Frost Brewed Coors Light, the world's most refreshing beer. Click it or ticket, GoDaddy.com. And cold activated meatloaf. When the side turns blue, it's ready to eat. Also potentially hazardous to your health. All right, moving on. Why do you have to fly? You think you're freaking out? I know you can tell me. In Southern California, and I have proof. You put zombie and you put ear in the title, and I don't want to do it. Dignation.com. Hello there, friends. Welcome to Dignation, episode number 202. I'm Kevin Rose. And I'm Alex Albright. Dignation covers some of the hottest user submitted stories on the social news website, dig.com. That's D I G G dot com. We are in San Francisco. Chaz. Uh, we are in San Francisco at my house, and we have a brand new sponsor, Coors Light. Oh, man. Also known as, uh, many people don't know this, the Silver Bullet. Really? It's right on the can. It is right on the can as well. I don't know who wouldn't know that. It's written on the can. <laughs> This is, um, We're super excited because they have these cold activated cans now, which I think they had for a while. I think they had the bottle, the cold, cold activated bottles, but they didn't have the can. Right. So if your mountains are blue, <clears> that means the can is cold. Time to go. Do you, and the crazy thing is, uh, um, uh, this is going to happen across on May 15th, and they're coming in at. Look at what? How you doing? Hello. Uh, so we're gonna get May fifteenth. There's gonna be eight, ten, twelve, and yep. sixteen ounce. So that's a that's a twenty-four. This is a twenty-four. I don't even know Whoa. what that is. It's like. Are we supposed to talk about the twenty-four? I don't know. We're gonna keep it. Maybe it's a pre-release. It's a pre yeah. This is alpha. <laughs> so we shouldn't open it because the can may explode in some sort of nuclear meltdown. That's because awesome. It's, it's just it's technology that's not quite perfected. No, it's super cool. I love the fact that you can like open up because you never know. Like beer, you're like, oh yeah, I think it's I think it's ready. Now it's like baked in. That's right. What up? So, um, Coors, thank you very much. I, I'm a big fan of light beers all of a sudden. I love light beers. Could be because of the fact that I'm putting on a gut when I drink uh, other beers. But seriously, uh, I think it, oh, there's, it, there's a time and a place for a good light beer. You know what it is? It's summer when it's hot mm. and you've been doing work and you can feel, it's just like the most refreshing thing it's ever. It's easy drinking and refreshing. That's yeah. it exactly. Yeah. yeah. We actually just, uh, dude, yesterday, <laughs> I ordered three Kinos. Kilos? Like giant kilos of cocaine. <laughs> no, kinos. They're giant studio lights. Oh, okay. And they just showed up, and I had like eight of them. Or, I mean, four, but so there was like a ton of boxes. And so I literally spent the day, and it was blistering hot, and I was ripping open kinos, setting up C-stands, and like putting all the bulbs in, doing all this stuff in the TRS studio. And I had to get something to drink, and I had, um, I don't remember what type of beer it was, but it was like a light beer. Bro. So refreshing. Yeah. A light beer in the summer when you're sweating and you're working. Because it doesn't Amazing. make you like more thirsty. It kind of quenches the thirst at the same time. Yeah. You know what I'm talking about? It's not as heavy. Yeah. Anyway, uh, May 5th, Friday, May 15th, uh, to celebrate the new Coors Light cold activated can, there's going to be, uh, it'll be launching in Seattle, Los Angeles, New York. Um, oh, dude. A 30 check foot out. cold front. Oh, that's cool. 30 foot cold front <coughs> will take over the waterways. They're probably going to do like crazy snow or something oh, go to Seattle. the coldfront.org and you can find out that'd be fun dude la i might go to that seattle la new york and philly so uh cool. thank you coors light love it uh all right well shall we get into the chef kevin yes how are you doing i'm doing fine yes well i just thought maybe we should just catch up have you been up to anything fun are you being serious? Yeah, I don't know why. Because I was like, we need to get right into stories. And I was like, oh. I haven't seen you in a, in a bit. It's what been a while. What have you been doing? Um, Anything fun going on? I got back from Vegas. Yes, so you went to Vegas. Oh. See, look at this. Now it's TV. Oh, uh, We're doing it. We should say that uh, that, that Prager uh, and Glenn are not here this episode. Yes. They are actually in Mexico. In Swine Flu Central. For, <laughs> for freaking... Uh, uh, Brad's um, from Ad Sales on Rev3. Yeah. His wedding is in Mexico, and they're like, "Do you want to go?" Yeah, Kevin and I was like, ah, "I'm gonna stay here." You're like, mm, "I like the living." So they're down. They're actually down there right now. Um, so and our uh, thoughts and prayers go out to them. We have Josh and, and Ryan here to to help us out. So yes. thank you guys, the team from Rev3. Yeah. Oh, speaking of uh, catching up, I was in Vegas, 
and went to the World Tea Expo. Oh, yes. You have to get this thing. Can you grab, right, We're can you totally grab locked in. behind that light there don't is, show is it a yet. little picture of Oh, my God. Yes, me. that right there, Ryan. Yes. Yes, it is. So, so I literally came in today and Kevin, don't show it, don't show it. And Kevin goes, <laughs> thank you, thank Kevin you. goes, so I brought this home from Vegas and I saw it and I was like, you have got <laughs> to put that on the show. Okay. Got to put that on the show. So, so here's explain. The okay, so so you're from Vegas, as most right. people know, but good to refresh. Yeah, so I was in town. Um, I grew up in Las Vegas, uh, born in California. Um, moved there when I no, I'm just going back to that kind. But um, I was out there for the World Tea Expo. You weren't born in California? Where were you born? Yeah, I was. Right in California. What did you... What? No, I mean, oh, you I was were going into your like, oh, that's I'm the like, gag. at the age of I five. I, right. Because no, um, all of a sudden I was like, wait, you're lying about that? I thought that's true. <laughs> <laughs> no, but, uh, but um, went to the, out the, to Vegas um, with Glenn. Had a great time. Uh, tea, healthy during the day. Nighttime, not so much. Yes. You know, we went out and uh, had a good time. You know what? It's Vegas. It I can is only Vegas. imagine what Hippie did. Oh, dude. I'm sure we can't talk about we most We can't of talk it. about most At of it. At least unless Hippie was here. Then he right. could defend himself. Exactly. But. This is his first time, uh, yeah, it was his first time in Vegas. Bro. Yeah. So you can imagine Bro. he had not done anything that Vegas has to offer. Oh my god, I'm so excited. <laughs> Hippie, come back soon. We need to hear these stories. Let's just say we had well, a good Well, but time. let's see this, because I think this so, is something that could this, easily have been passed by. This... <laughs> oh, I can't believe this. We're doing this. this Do it. This was something you want me to hold that, it hold and then on. you can explain it? <laughs> not yet, not yet. Let me just think about this oh, for a second. No, 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 it's going to happen. Go on the oh, it has to happen. Look at that. So, Look at the pimp. when I was younger... When I was younger, let me just set this up a little bit. All right. When I was younger, um, like many of you out there, mm -hmm. uh, I was a Cub Scout. Yep. And then I went into Boy Scouts. Mm -hmm. um, I took Boy Scouts very seriously. Clearly. <laughs> <laughs> I, got, I, got my, I got all my merit badges. Yep. Uh, I became an Eagle Scout. Uh, after Eagle Scoutness, I got the two palms because um, uh, that's like the next little achievement up. I don't uh, know, but that's awesome. Anyway, this is me, Eagle Scout. Like, I, I was probably, let's see. Yeah, First off, did you build this, or was this something was 16, that, like, came 17? with? No way you're 16 or 17 in those pictures. I was 16. I was 16, yeah. Um, I'm telling you, I was a late. Mm, yes, was, you were a late bloomer. I was a late bloomer. You look 12. I was 16. Okay. So this. Wow, you were driving? <laughs> that looks. I was almost driving at this point. <laughs> this is, that looks like it should be illegal. <laughs> Okay, here we All go. Right. And for the reveal, voila! How awesome is that? I thought of that. Is that great? What is it? I love, I love the like pensive Eagle Scout and the like model -y evil Eagle Scout. The one that's like looking off the side like, hmm. Dude, at this, or matches. at this age, <laughs> you really don't do like... Bro, you, all do you do not look 16, right? No. You I look was 16. 13, 12. <laughs> yeah. I was 16, I'm telling you. Wow. Um, yeah. yeah, totally. I had a baby face for the longest time. Uh, and is this your Eagle Scout medal? It looks a little yeah, bit yeah, like... Yeah, yeah, totally. That's my, that's my little Eagle Scout. Like uh, French, you know... Yeah, it's like the little... Silver you put cross. it on here. Like he was a French cadet in World War II. You and put it, you put it right the, here. So you can is. see how many years. I actually had the year little pin right here. It shows you how many years. That was probably an older pin. Well, this pin. is crazy. How many badges you have? Yeah, you, yeah. you look like an Xbox Live yeah. achievement yeah. list. <laughs> Oh. You're like, oh, disemboweled somebody with a I didn't have board. everything. There's a ton of badges. I, I just, I don't remember. Is this your walnut trainer? <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I remember something. Yeah, what are they? I think this is Wilderness Survival, which was freaking my favorite of all. Okay. This is like fitness. This is camping. I'm sure this, this is, is finance. Aid, maybe. This is like first aid. That's swimming. Um, this is Christianity. No, it's not. It's, <laughs> Recycling. Uh, That's got to be recycling. Yeah, right? no, I don't think so. How is that not recycled? The Maybe recycling it was. logo Maybe it was. is for like. This was uh, basket weaving. I actually can weave a mean basket. I Pe can people imagine. do not know this. I can weave a mean basket. Uh, oh, you're This is rifle, rifle, uh, riflery. <laughs> riflery. <laughs> riflery and rivalry. <laughs> I got my rifle merit badge, uh, which was Perfect. awesome. So, yeah, good times. Uh, I'm not ashamed of that picture. You shouldn't be. Uh, you know what? It's so funny because when you're growing up and you're getting older, or when you're younger and you're a Boy Scout, it's actually, it wasn't a cool thing back then. I, I assume it's just probably not cool still today. I don't know. But the girls did not think it was cool. So and I, I remember ch getting at, chicks merit badge? Well, I remember <laughs> at that age, like, walking with my, my Boy Scout uniform, I remember being like, Oh, I feel like I'm getting a little too old because once you're like 16, yeah. you know, you're in high school and you're Boy Scout still. It's kind of like, eh. 
Um, but I gotta say, uh, looking back on things, now when I go out camping, you know, bring yeah. a lady friend out to go camping, and you're like, watch me start this fire, and it's like, <laughs> like you know what I mean? Like they love oh, that. I didn't know shit. they taught magic. Watch me start this I am an Eagle Scout. <laughs> no, I'm, ha, ha. no, but it's, there's, there's a difference though. Like most dudes, like you go out with guys that never had any scouting or camping experience, yeah. and they put like logs on top of each other, and they're like douse it with gasoline, and they're like, okay, let's see what happens, and it just like burns out. Yep. When you know the proper technique, however, you can make a teepee. Yes, you can make Log a teepee. That's one method, absolutely. Yep. So, were you in the scouts or anything like that? I was a tenderfoot, my friend, and I went. So, Cub Scouts. I went to, the, no, 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 Tenderfoot the boy? is the first Boy Scout. Oh, you're right, you're right, yeah. right. And I will say, you know what? I have something in common with the soldiers in the Civil War, which is I went camping in Gettysburg and decided I don't want to be out here. It's cold. You cried. I, I cried. No way. I was like, wait, I don't want to be here. I know the kids that cried, dude. Bro, first off, it was my first camping experience, and it was like, you were away from mom Zero. and dad. No, no, no. My dad came. He was like helping with everybody. Why were you crying then? Because it was freezing. I was the crying was mainly for comedy, but it, I mean it was like <laughs> I ended up sleeping in my Aerostar van, like huddling next to a heater, and I was like, this is the stupidest thing I've ever done. I want to go uh, skateboard and bad. play video games. What am I doing? Yeah, yeah. I it just so I my experience wasn't good. Dude, I remember the first time right out of the, gate. I, the first time I went camping without mom and dad. Well, but you're in Vegas. I mean, you're doing like desert excursions and stuff. No, but right? we did other stuff too. We'd go on to like, I went to um, that island right off the coast of California, um, Catalina, yeah. for a week without my parents. That's cool, Buffalo. Out Dude, there. when you're like 14 and 15, yeah. that's a really and you're used to mom and dad yeah. being around the house. It's a big deal when you do your first kind of like away from home thing. Well, especially you know? that far and. And on the middle island, right? And with boars, there's wild boars running around that yeah, freaking yeah. island. Did you guys kill any boars like Lord of the Flies no. on, the, on the space? But dude, I'll going tell you. Going to Starbucks next. There, there's there's a thing. There's a thing. You go out camping. Yeah. You, you you like lay down and like the first couple nights, all the kids are like, hey, good to see you. You know, you're playing stuff like that. Dude, night two or three, kids start to crack, man, because they want to go. <laughs> and make a, they want to go make a phone call to their mom and dad, and all of a sudden, like the tears start coming. That's and when like, the men oh, separate from the boys. Oh, 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 dude. Like shot. It, it, it is the fish. fresh fish. Dude, I'm telling you. It's, dude, that's uh, epic. I, w I should go camping more often. Oh, Here's dude, I love thing. camping. Here's my issue with camping. And maybe it's just that I haven't done correct camping, but it seems to me like camping when you're not a freaking like, mountaineer, you know, like Survivor Man, you got seven cameras and you just walk out into the woods by yourself and you know how to like stab a bear in the gut. Seven cameras. Well, that's what he does. Uh, <laughs> Who has cameras when they go camping? Well, Survivor oh, Man. <laughs> dude, it's all right. My problem is when I go to like a camping site, all of the ca it's basically just like a truck stop. Like you just pull up and it's like, oh, I guess we have space 32. And then it's like all these people around you are, are camping as well. And they're just like sitting around and eating a drink. And I'm like, this isn't camping. This is sleeping in a Greyhound bus station. <laughs> this is not camp. There's like, four, oh like people God, are like right dude. over by where the camera is. It's like a whole other thing of like a bunch you of are DBs like taking me. out. So I'm always like camping. Why do I want to go camping? Oh camping is like God, put a pup tent in a freaking parking lot. Oh, right, you're right. That's what me. I mean. So no, I don't want to go camping. I'm sure. Listen, you go out there. You set up your tent. You freaking get a sleeping bag that's big enough for you and your girl. You hop in it. You make s'mores at night. You make fires. You tell crazy jokes. You yeah, drink beer. Yeah, but it's beer. all in like earshot You go shot fishing of and hiking the next day. It's awesome. It's but the best are you, in the but world. But the places that you're camping, are they like the little yeah, things with a bunch of other people? You know people? what? You hear people partying. You walk over and you're like, what's up? And they're like, what's up? One beer? And you're like, yeah. And you toss each other beers and you drink them. It's awesome. Isn't that cool shit? I don't know if that's cool to me. Dude, it's so much fun. That's you meet other fun. campsites, you throw footballs around, you go hiking during the day. It's the best thing, dude. Get See, away that's from the, the experience. That's the experience that I think I like. You and go then fishing? I get there and I'm like, I don't want to be with these people. What about fishing? I love fishing, but I don't have to go sleep <laughs> in a garage or go fishing. I could just put fishing poles in my car, drive from my house <laughs> to Big Bear, fish for a day, and drive home. Dude, we've got a cabin. Have you ever, have you ever Cabins, been, lake houses, what? Dude, Why is cooking, that so above? Cooking your food on a campfire is the best thing ever. Bro, I can cook my food on a campfire in my backyard. I don't need to go dude, to freaking... you let it get to the coals, you know, get to Dutch oven even. Make I like don't a, want that. Oh, it's so good. It's so Nobody, good. You're never going to make it that good a feeling. Have you ever made, uh, had a really good, like, s'more off a campfire? Yeah, I'm not. I, I grew up in Virginia. 
I, I've done camp on like the bonfire. Yeah, out there. Well, I'm just saying, like I go, I've been camping and stuff right. where it's fun, but Dude, why don't like we go camping getting sometime? Done. I'm there. Indignation. Indignation camping style. Done. You know what? That'd be fun. We get hit the gland. Yeah, he'll do some stuff. He'll do some crazy. shit. He'll create a little Burning Man statue. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be sitting out there like. We'll literally like open the thing at like 8 a.m. We'll be like, and freaking Glenn's in there in his underwear, like all freaked out. Dude, Glenn will do some crazy shit. Yeah, Glenn. That's that's what all we'll right. Do. So all right, let's get into the show, shall we? Yeah. See, you know, aren't you glad I asked you how you're doing? Yeah, thank you. You're welcome. I'm glad we could expose my childhood See, pictures. I, whenever I asked how you doing, you expose yourself. All right. Here first, we go. First story of the day, and I just clicked on an ad and gave Dig money. All right. <laughs> Pardon me. Um, GoDaddy don't buy .tv domains. The island is sinking. 1,078 people dug the story. It's submitted by Geek Tech. GoDaddy.com, who we all know and love. Yes has a little disclaimer when you're about to buy a .tv ad now. They actually put a little tiny, and there's not a picture, oh here it is. If you hover over .tv, it says, why choose .tv? It says, the number one entry says, note, the island of Tavalu, I think that's right. is that right? Yeah. That's right. Is sinking. Okay. So they're like, hey, by the way, if you get a .tv domain name, good chance uh, the uh, name servers might go underwater and you might be screwed. Oh, that's where the name servers are held? Well, I'm assuming there's, I, and I don't know all so, the oh, intricacies so of DNS. Oh, so .tv is for the country, Talavalu, right, or whatever. Right, right, right. I'm, 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 I'm assuming that the uh, TV domain, I'm sure the ICANN would keep around the .tv domain if the island freaking goes under. It's not going to go away. I thought but they, they were, were embedding like, like some inside loss <coughs> joke that you were excited about. No. And I was like, wow, first off, thanks for spoiling that the island's sinking. <laughs> Secondly, <laughs> I didn't even know they had been named. <laughs> no, I'm serious. Like, the that island's is actually sinking. I didn't sinking. even put two and two together that dot .tv wasn't just something. Because I thought they were just pulling domain ends not out anymore. of their butt. No, dude, every, every, uh, well, not every extension, because dot .info and stuff. It's weird on the domain extensions. You yeah, know? right? Like, I mean, like, dot choose? .info isn't dot, like, infrophrenia. Sometimes I wonder, like, who gets to pick these ideas? Like, what idiot? Like, dot .name, dot .name. When they came up with dot that... Dot .lame. When they came up with that, they were like... See, it's like a pun. It was dumb. Um, <laughs> it was all right. When they, <laughs> when they came up with that, though, they were thinking like, oh, everyone in the world is going to get their name dot .name. It'll be or so dot cool. Or .me, dot .me. That's another one. Dot .me was actually pretty good. Oh, do you have Kevin Rose dot .me? No, I don't, but okay. it's... it's Better than dot .name, who do you know that has their name dot .name? I don't know. Like, would you no. be like, email me at Alex Albrecht, <laughs> Alex at Alex Albrecht dot .name. Well, here's the thing. Who has anything other than dot .com? Nobody. Most people, even with dot .tv, it gets confusing. You know what I mean? Yeah. I, I just like, uh, Heather, with her First Things First TV, it, her show is called First Things First TV. The site is First Things First TV. TV.com or first things first TV. Right. People can choose, and I think that's important because you don't want to be like, oh yeah, it's just go to first things first TV. Most people are going to go home and go first things first TV.com. Right. Because that's what, that's what they know. You know what I mean? I think that it's, we, we need to get rid of domain names altogether. <clears throat> Whoa, what? I don't know how to do that. I like it. I like, I like your crazy thinking. You see what I'm saying, though, right? Like, we've run out of .com. Nobody wants to jump off of anything outside of .com. Why don't you get rid of the .com? Why do we need a .com? I, I don't... just word. HTTP colon slash slash D-I-G-G. Well, That's here's your the domain. Thing. I was actually thinking... Right? Of, Why does it, who cares about .com? Well, I mean, you would, there'd be crazy know, squatting and all that. And, bullshit, and but, technology yeah. and stuff that has to happen. Uh, <laughs> seriously, though... One of the things I've thought about doing is getting rid of... Well, I have KevinRose.com as like yeah. my blog. I was thinking about just forwarding it to my Twitter account. So just have it automatically do a, a straight 301 redirect to uh, Twitter.com slash KevinRose. I mean, because why do I need concept. a blog anymore? <clears throat> well, but you can embed Twitter... Well, I mean, there's advantageous marketing reasons why you would actually want it to be going to your site. Why? You could have your Twitter feed... Well, advertising? You can't make money on Twitter. Not yet. Not yet, exactly. Guess what you uh, can make money on right now? Yeah, I know. A blog. I know. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? Well, I'm, I'm just going to forward to Twitter hoping that someday I can make money on my Twitter stream. Well, uh, for money-making reasons, yes. Or even but just I'm, locational things. There's certain things where you want in, p solid pieces of information about you that you're not going to be putting out on, on every third tweet. You I, see what I'm saying? I, I and yes, that's the information you can kind of have in Twitter, but it's not as rich. You can't have video links of like, here's me talking about tea. You know what I mean? Like, if you're interested in tea, and 
still with your Twitter feed. I mean, like my interesting. So my you're saying site, I should solve that problem. I'll solve that problem. What's the problem? <laughs> Meaning, I'll make a one page one pager that you can edit. So, like, look. So this is me, AlexAlbert.com. I mean, it needs to do have a rescan. Dane, I'm gonna be calling you about that. Uh, but so like it's just got a little thing, but it's got here it's like videos, interviews of me, other sites on the web, like my other shows, and then it's got my Twitter stream. Okay. So you can just follow I, I me on Twitter. I have an idea. I have a new idea. And even I could even move the Twitter stream to the main bulk of the thing. Right, right. I get you. So it, but theoretically, actually, that's what I should do. Maybe I'll do it when I get home, or I'm sitting in the airport waiting to get on my flight. I'm gonna switch that over to the middle thing and put a little ad there. That's nobody, insane. nobody, you know, everybody's okay with me having ads. Ads don't make any money, dude. No, I know, but they make some. I have, they make I have, a dollar. I have uh, ads on KevinRose.com. Yeah. Watch this. Um, uh, Google.com. Slash ad. <laughs> Google. <laughs> Hold on. Google uh, blow. I think my, I haven't checked my ads on... Uh, I'm very excited. AdSense. I'm very excited because he's going to check this right now and he's going to have $75,000 sitting in the <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to be like, you, sir, are an asshole. Hold on. I don't even know where this money is. It's just like, I don't know. Let me look under my couch. Oh, there's 100 grand under here. Hold on. <laughs> You're going to be sadly disappointed, dude. <laughs> I don't know what you're... I'm, I'm... The I'm going to be disappointed at how little money you're making. Hold on. So just while you're doing that, on the Tuvalu Islands website, oh. the headline says Tuvaluian seamen held hostage by Somali pine. Oh, God. No way. I love it. It's uh, Tuvalu, Tuvalu. TuvaluIslands.com. So there's some crazy... Speaking of which, I went to a short film festival oh, the other day. Geez. Google, come on. I know. No, no, no. Don't worry. Keep I going. went to a short film festival the other day because a, a friend of mine, um, Kevin DiValeria, he, he was edited the short film at CSUN, you know? And um, great, all, very, very good films. It was really, really fun. But Tuvok was there, Tim Russ, and his band played, and it was literally like the weirdest thing because it was Tuvok playing guitar from Star Trek Voyager, playing guitar and singing, and Neelix from Star Trek Voyager was like sitting down with a bass guitar, like just waiting to get into the set. And I was like, the fuck is going on? <laughs> what the hell is this? So I was like, Tuvok is playing like blues, <laughs> which was, was awesome. It was at um, the Academy of uh, Television Arts and Sciences in LA. There you go. What? That's a month. Ninety dollars and fifty-eight cents off of off of ads on on my site. Yeah, but point that to Twitter. And you know what? That's a dinner. That is a dinner. A That's dinner a, a damn month. nice dinner. A good dinner a month. It's good dinner a month. So but then you have to pay taxes on top of that, right? So and it's then you really get it at ten ninety-nines. It's a whole big painting. So I it's know. probably <laughs> you know seventy-five bucks or so. You know. Yeah. That's still that's, that's good dinner a month. Yeah. You're not going to do that. You can forward it to Twitter. Plus, honestly, I think the real key is, and I'm, I love that we're talking about this because this is going to make me go back and actually re-take a good hard look at my place because I think saying having a blog is what's passe. I think maybe that's what's getting you in that mind space of, I don't want a blog. I don't want to have to be an author. Like, that was the big thing with me. I mean, when we were on the screensavers, you remember, I always had the hardest time keeping my blog up. Dude, you and me both. I've, I've blogged <laughs> twice in the last year. I know, but at least back then you had like a rhythm. You were like, every couple days I know where to go, I call my sites, I do my thing, and then I post. And for me, I couldn't even get into the rhythm of having a blog. I so I think thinking of your website as less of a blog and more of a destination that has information on you as well as right. your Twitter feed that right, keeps right, people right. up to date. Right. I mean, I think that's what it is. I just think that, <clears throat> um, that the, the delivery mechanism for blogs with RSS is kind of so, in my, I just, my gut tells me it's dead. It just yeah. feels so old, you know what I mean? It feels like, oh, I have to go and subscribe to someone's RSS feed to get their updates. No, I'll go no, friend them on yeah. Twitter, and right? I don't, yeah, or anything. I mean, at the end of the day, I've, you know, RSS readers, it's like, really? Yeah. You know what I mean? But the other thing is, is that you think about the good blogs, like the blogs that you actually read on a daily basis. Mm -hmm. They're more like online magazines than they are blogs. Right. It's not the one person who's got that great idea and writes every day. Right, and right. you're like, wow, I really like the way that like, this one guy thinks. No, it's like, Wow Insider is a blog. But it's because there's great articles written by people who are basically writing articles for a magazine that just gets updated <coughs> all the time. I think that's the big difference is because I would <laughs> never follow my friends' blogs. Right. I would follow their Twitter accounts. Right. But if there's an influencer, a magazine, someone that I respect and care about that I want to follow, right. I, I would potentially bookmark their blog and go back right. and check it out on a regular basis. Yeah, like that's what we do with, at Project Lore. Our big thing was we started it as just like game guides and a video. And then we were like, this is stupid. There's so many people out there that ha have such great insight into World of Warcraft. 
let's do a blog. And now it's m the most stuff that people go to Project Lore for is the blog articles. We got, hmm. we got these great bloggers that are giving us great cool insights. You know what I mean? So it becomes more of a, a place to not just interact by seeing a show. It's like a knowledge base for all these people who are doing it. You gotcha. Know what I mean? Yeah. Anyway. <coughs> anyway, fun to see how this, all this stuff uh, unfolds over time. Yes. We shall see. All right. Big news, people. Disney buys a stake in Hulu. 928 people dug this story. Submitted by Danny Floyd. NBC, Fox, and ABC content all on one website. Huge news. So if you don't know what Hulu is, go to Hulu.com and check it out. It's great stuff. Basically, Fox and NBC got together and decided they were going to make a portal for themselves online. Right. And so they formed this company and created Hulu.com, which is, in my opinion, the best flash, high-content video player out there. ABC Player is kind of is, is interesting. It, has, it does some interesting little things. But to me, it doesn't understand that Windows 7 doesn't have to be XP or Vista, so I can't even use it on my laptop because mm -hmm. it's that smart. You know what I mean? Like, really? Uh, it's like, you, you can't use Windows 95. And it's like, well, I don't for a reason. So Hulu's great. It's got all the NBC content, all the Fox content, all the Universal content. So there's actually a lot of movies. Most people don't realize you can watch full-length movies. I did not realize that. Full-length movies. Some really good movies. Like too. what? Uh, I think Ghostbusters is on there. Um, Who really goes back and watches Ghostbusters, though? You should be quiet. Uh, <laughs> lie to me. I mean, like, uh, it's great. So let me go to movies here real quick. Just so, just so you can see. Um, <clears throat> I'll go to popular movies, and we'll see what's up. Uh, uh, Cracking yeah. the Da Vinci Code, 3 O'Clock High, which is supposedly really good. Um, not really much stuff, though. There's hold really on, everybody. Though. I'm hitting the things. 3 O'Clock High is Casey Samasco's first movie, I think. Yeah, I think so. Cheech and Chong. Yes, Cheech and John. Um, gosh, well, let me just go to Action Adventure. I just want to see some, like, Lock, Stock, and Two Smoking Barrels. Oh, that was great. Yeah, it was great. Um, uh, Johnny Dangerously. Are you kidding Cliffhanger. me? Cliffhanger. Cliffhanger. Jewel of the Nile. Jewel of the Nile. Yes, I, I know, love right? Jewel of the Nile. Like Air Force One. Air Force One. Was In great. the Line of Fire. All right, so there's some good stuff on there. Yeah. It's all free. They just put ads all in between. All free. All free. Right. Um, I think with the movies. Well, no, because they, they have rated R movies. You just have to lo sign up for an account to be able to be like, see, I'm over 18. But other than that, all no no interaction. So all Fox content, all and then of course everything that the NBC Universal owns. So all the sci-fi stuff. I watch Battlestar Galactica. Oh. Boom. Thirty Rock on so NBC. Boom. Let me ask you a question. With this new deal with Disney, mm -hmm. that gives them access to what new content? All of ABC's content. Because Disney owns ABC. Disney Channel, ABC, ABC Family, all of the Disney movies, Pixar movies There's probably. There's no Disney movies. Disney's really weird like that. They don't put any of their like, animated movies. Well, but here's the thing, and this is what I think is really key, is Disney bought a 30% share, a 30% stake. That's a huge stake. So, and I think one of the reasons why NBC and it's Universal an Fox said, okay, you can come into this party, is they went, you can come into this party as long as... All your stuff goes on to Hulu. So now there is no reason for them to keep all their animated stuff back. Why hold it back when you are getting 30% of the profits from having it on the site? The site? Mm -hmm. So this it's is, really this interesting. Game over. Though. Hulu's it's, won. <clears throat> well, definitely Hulu's won in, in that market. The thing that really is, is a big question mark, there's two big question marks. One, NBC pulled out of um, iTunes. NBC does not sell their stuff on iTunes anymore. Because they went, hey, why are we selling this stuff on iTunes where you get a big chunk of the money? We have a place that people will come and see it, and we can make money just in the same way, but we don't have to split it with Apple. So right. no NBC stuff on well, iTunes. And Apple hasn't really... Well, but here's the thing. Apple, while it's a great like iTunes downloadable thing, right. it hasn't proven itself as a, as a means of really spreading a shit ton of videos through iTunes, right? right? And here's the thing. What happens if NBC has already pulled out Fox pulls all their content off iTunes. Disney, including ABC, Disney, and Universal, all take their content out. The only major content provider left is CBS. That's it. And CBS. And Pixar. Pixar is part of Disney. 
I don't think Disney would pull out of, of iTunes in. They may, no, oh, yeah, dude, believe me, the, the Steve Jobs connection is not that strong that they go. I don't know. <clears throat> Steve I Jobs did. is the biggest single shareholder of Disney, isn't he? Yeah, I think so. Definitely for Pixar. Well, maybe maybe single shareholder, but he's not. But he has more voting rights than about Steve Jobs, Disney. Actually, all I'm saying is, if that happens. But here's the really big question: is poor CBS standing out there on CBS.com all by themselves with no pants on, like, ah, crap. <laughs> How yeah. do we get into Hulu? <laughs> and I'm like, yeah, oh yeah, so Dude. NBC, C, NBC, Fox, and ABC are gonna sit down at the table and go. Oh, hey, CBS. So you want to come to the party, huh? We'll give you five cents for every dollar we make. How's that sound? Sure. Sounds good. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. So behind the ball as so far as that goes. Steve Jobs is on the board of directors of Walt Disney, and the Disney company. Sure. And I'm sure he'll go, hey, I don't think we should pull out of Apple. And I'm sure the rest of the board will go, it's a good idea, Steve. No. I think you're wrong. I don't think so, I'm, dude. Dude, I'm telling you, <coughs> it's going to be... But here's the thing. Dude, he's the majority <laughs> shareholder... Uh, of the Walt Disney Company. He, D- Disney's not pulling out, man. No, 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 no. He was the majority shareholder on, of Pixar until it was acquired by Disney. He is not the majority shareholder in Jobs Disney. Jobs is currently Walt Disney's largest individual shareholder. <laughs> well, he may be the b- biggest individual shareholder, but saying. that doesn't mean... That's what I'm saying. You know what I mean? I, it's funny how, like, you read the sentence... That I read the one that you that were highlighting. Me, he read the wrong that proved, he wanted to prove me wrong, and then the one directly underneath it proved it me right it's again. It's true, it's true. It was a lot of flip-flopping. <laughs> That was awesome. Yeah, true. Um, I don't so, know. I think that this is this should be scary for Apple, but I think business BS aside, it should be happy days for all of us because Hulu. I mean, honestly, I literally my this this little laptop here has an HDMI output. This what we like literally Heather and I were like, oh man, we missed so much Thirty Rock and we can't get it on our TV. You know what are we I gonna do? Saying, I and I literally just go, hey, wait a minute. Pull, unplug my HDMI out of my Xbox, slammed it into here, and went start playing it. And then we just like sat back. The only thing that I needed to do to really lock it in would be to get a wireless keyboard and mouse, and I'm done. I can watch yeah. whatever I want. I and the ads are like. 30 seconds every, like, it, it's so much easier to just sit there and, it's, like, I'll take it. It's I don't tough mind. times for the Apple TV. <clears throat> Look, the Apple TV you know could I mean? have been they, they need to open huge. it up. They need to open it up completely. Well, they need to do a lot of stuff with it. It's too much of a closed platform to, to really, because... Well, well, it's Hulu's too much, like, you've got to download it through iTunes, and then you can watch it. It's like, no, no there's so much free stuff. Why do I want to download it through, you know what I mean? Yeah. Let me go to who you know. Let b- make it a web browser. I will tell you that they're they are missing an opportunity with the Mac Mini, because the Mac Mini um, Steve, who used to shoot and edit TRS, had a Mac Mini that he had connected to his 1080p TV. Gorgeous. We used to read emails, surf the web, and then we would watch trailers in ta- and we would always download the 1080p version of the trailer and do full screen. Gorgeous, gorgeous. But the Mac Mini is like the like redheaded stepchild of the yeah. iMac like they do not care and the update just came out everybody was like because I was like I'm going to go buy a Mac Mini they were like wait wait the update's coming out did it just come out? yeah you know what it is it's like a little bit more hard drive space and a better graphics card that's it no major overhaul at all it was so faster, disappointing faster greener still mini yeah right five times faster graphics that's good not really. It's just motion video. It's not like I'm doing 3D. It's, I'm not playing WoW on my TV. I'm watching Hulu video. When it's idle, the, the Mac Mini uses 13 watts. It's 45% less energy than before. That's pretty awesome. Yes, that is cool. But really not that much of an impact of whether I want the thing to be connected to my TV. Yeah. Do they have any uh, they HDMI made, out? Uh, I think they did add HDMI. No, well, no, no. They didn't on the other one, so I don't think they updated it. I think it's DVI. So you have to get the DVI to HDMI output. Do they have that? It's just a cable. Oh, here we go. Yeah, see, no, no HDMI. Mini display port. Oh, it mini... Uh. There's no HDMI. Like, what? You could... And it's because the Apple TV. It's because they're going, but, but we want people to buy the Apple TV. Yeah. And it's like, no, dude, you have the coolest, smallest, little form-factor computer ever, and it looks super slick when you put it down. Build that thing out. Make that thing the thing to buy if you have a 1080p TV. Everybody... I... I'm not a Mac guy. I w- almost bought a Mac Mini. You're very passionate about this. It's because it's it's like low hanging fruit. It's like why is nobody doing this? It's it's everything that everybody's ever talked about. Like, well, the, when the computer becomes part of your TV, that's going to be the game changer. 
You have one. It looks, it, it's like perfect to, to did be. You, hmm? Did you notice they're not even listing the uh, Apple TV as one of their products? Yeah, the Apple TV was one of those things. Are they like, hiding it now? Or yeah, is it, like, it was of one of those like under the carpet, like, oh, I don't think that was an Apple product. <laughs> <laughs> Are you sure it wasn't the orange yeah, TV? Yeah, I was like, I think that was a Microsoft thing, right? Orange I think TV? Last time I was there, it was a Microsoft thing. Where is it? I don't even see it here. I don't know, dude. They might have just been like, la, 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 la. What do you mean? We didn't have a, a, a handheld device. Holy shit. Oh, it's la, not la, even la, la, on. La. Look at this. It's not even dude, anywhere linked here. Damn. I wonder if they're getting rid of it. Why wouldn't they? It, it's basically a Mac Mini that can't do as much cool stuff, and the Mac Mini is pretty cheap. Like if you can make that an easy turnkey solution for the Mac Mini, I totally agree. Oh my God! Yeah. Dude, and you know, here's the thing: if anybody can do it, and I'm yeah. this, I'm going out on a limb here, but if anybody can do it, it's Apple. They can put on a great skin where it's like, link to Hulu. Who cares? Link to the iTunes. Like, dude, just linkies. You know what I mean? Like the little, like you already have what's it called? The um, uh, um, stand, theater, what's the thing called that they do where you like hit the button and all of a sudden it's like a you can sit there with a TV remote on your Macs. They've had it for oh, ages. Oh, front, uh, front, front row. row. Yeah. You're, you're close. Throw front row, like just m make front row specific for the Mac Mini. Here are all the free places to watch TV on the internet. Here's all the places to get free yeah, music on the internet. Here's they're bl they're blocking that though. Hulu can't block that. It's a computer. There's yeah, no way to block it. It's a computer. I guess you're right. You'd they have can to, block you'd have it to make on those like a pointer though, right? Or you'd have to make the keyboard and mouse work. You're right. Or who can, a pointer, whatever. You know what I mean? Like front, that's what front row does. It's just all the things functions of the internet. You, you know, know what I? You know what I realized? Anyway, I'm getting you're all You're a little flustered. Bothered. I think you need to have a sip of Coors Light to relax. Oh, it's so refreshing and relaxing. <laughs> All right. You know um, what it does? It cools your hot blood. <laughs> when you get all hot blooded about technology, as I do, I don't know why that stuff gets me, but it's like you, you it's want stupid. a good experience, and they're not providing it to you. Well, I get that. It's it's like I can't be the only one who's sitting here looking at the product, going, "Really? This could be the product." I mean, you could literally have the. Oh, you bought a 1080p TV? Well, you have to get an app. You have to get an, a Mac Mini. I mean, you have to. This is no brainer. You know what I mean? You could do that. You make one peripheral that comes with it that's a wireless mouse and keyboard or however you do Make that thing cool. You know, this is it. And, and if you do it, Apple, at least a dollar per for me. <laughs> you make a device that is wireless and cool and thin and Apple-y and silver and whatever, white. Maybe black, change it up. Uh, and it's a keyboard with a trackball molded into the side. Ba 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 ba. <laughs> but it also has like the usual Are remotes. We really so you going pick back it up. To trackball, bro. Trackball. The only the reason why you do trackball is because it will allow you to interface with the internet the way you are forced to because most people have either a touchpad or a thing or touchpad. Do touchpad with gestures. A glass touchpad. Ooh. Right. See. Hulu? Right. To do a little H. Yeah. Who? <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Dude, that's what Dude, if, are it for. Was, if it was a thing like this with a glass gesture improved touchpad that could do all that stuff and a little e keyboard, maybe it's even a glass like OLED keyboard. Oh, uh, yes. Right? YouTube. And that <laughs> comes with the Mac <laughs> Mini, and your whole thing is, and it comes with an HDMI cable. You go, you bought a 1080p TV, buy this, and you will be able to do anything you want on your 1080p TV. You could own it. You could own, own it, it as long I'm as. I'm making that. <laughs> Wait, no, here, listen, listen, listen. Here's, here's one thing you're not thinking about. What? The, Price point? No. The usability stuff on like the web browsing stuff, right? Mm -hmm. It's still a crappy experience on a TV. It doesn't look as no, good as it should. No, no, no. Not on a 1080p LCD. I, my 52-inch 1080p TV, when you plug a computer in, it looks like this. No, but it what looks I'm saying like is... A computer. Well, hold on, it's so hold easy. On. What I'm saying is, for this to really be mainstream, um, or to be yes. huge. Tell me, because I'm going to do You this. do not. My mom and dad are not going to be sit there with a keyboard and be like, Hulu. There right. needs to be like an interface. The giant button that says Hulu. The giant go, button that says Hulu, right? Right. Now, the next thing is, you need Hulu to cooperate, right? Because on their website, when yeah. you hit that big ass button, you need to have a formatted page that is not a web page as it is today, but with other big ass buttons, like lo watch Lost with a big ass button, another big ass button for watching ABC shows, whatever it may be. You need that interface to match, like that. Like, like, yeah, exactly. Where you have like a, a, a more okay. customized. All right. Here we go. Wait, you ready for this? TV interface. What if? So you make the thing, 
This is great. We're totally. I'm totally doing this. If you want in, you can. I don't know yet. It's going to cost a lot of money. I'm <laughs> still on the fence. The, the stock is very high right now. If you <laughs> early adopters, I'm looking for angel funding, five hundred thousand dollars minimum. So, Mac Mini clone because Apple, you're done. I'm done with you. Maybe it even runs at Mac OS. I don't even care. The cool glass gestural thing that I've now invented. <laughs> <laughs> so you ready for this? On the interface, you on a daily basis. So when you hit the Hulu button, you don't go to Hulu. You go to our internal server that says, you want to watch Lost? Hit this and it's a direct link to the Lost section of Hulu. You want to watch 30 Rock? Hit this and it's a direct link to, to the 30 Rock. You know what I mean? And then we have a guy who's just a Googling monkey that is just keeping that updated. When new shows are put in, when new movies, update our little thing with the giant button section. So when your mom takes it out of the box and she plugs it in, they go, hey, is your internet connected? Yes. Right, right. Great. <laughs> is your internet connected? I think also, what it, well, you probably could just embed these, right? Are all these no, embeddable? You, I don't, I don't, well, I don't, they might be. Because if they're but embeddable, I don't want, but, I, but here's the thing. They'll block you, I yeah. don't want, well, I don't want to have a company that the job is to take the content. It's all about getting access to the content. We want them to go to Hulu on their TV. That's what you can be able to do. Yeah, but the thing that's difficult is like, then after it plays a commercial, it doesn't automatically start the next Yes, section. it does. That's abc.com. Oh, okay. That's why I'm excited. So I don't with Hulu, like you don't have to click Hulu? continue. Nope. you can sit back and watch. Okay, that's And you cool. can watch it in high def. All right. Well, not high def, but, you know, uh, uh, progressive scan 480p, full screen, and you can just sit back. You know what? On your 1080p TV, full screen, and it looks pretty good. You know one of the things and I it's instant. One of the things I do see? that I, I you probably can see my TV back behind us right there. Dude, that TV would look amazing. Before I, don't I leave, watch I'm plugging this TV. in HBO. Well, that's your I, problem. If, if I miss an episode of Lost, I sit right next to the TV on my couch there, and I watch it on my laptop and leave the TV turned off. Am I am I the only one, or is that is that crazy? Well, no, but just think if you turned your TV on and you, uh, it wasn't a, a cable box. If I had a girlfriend or fiance well, no, like you do, right. I would watch yeah, it on the right. TV. But here's the thing. Think if you turn your TV on and instead of getting a TV cable box interface that you're not even really all that thrilled with, you have a, an operating system. No, I get it. I get it. Uh, and I think, and you can have I your think email, Boxy, you can have your Twitter, I think Boxy has done a lot of this legwork for you, my friend. No, Boxy, because Boxy hey, is specific. Boxy is open I love, source. I know, Bo I love Boxy. Why don't you modify Boxy? <clears throat> Create the interface that you want with Boxy. Look at that, dude. Big ass because buttons. Because Hulu doesn't work. I don't. They're showing Hulu there, but Hulu blocked Boxy. Well, so you don't have to make it block it anymore, right? You can you can simulate. Uh, you can use the uh, the. Why well, do I don't do that much work? You can use the WebKit um, browser and tell tell it uh, uh, send the re. Um, what is it called when you send the ID of the browser to the the uh, host OS that's taking it? Um, Trade Z's. You know what I'm talking about, where yeah, you, you, you say that this is the browser, that you're who you are, right? Yes. So you, you go out and you say, like, I'm an official computer, I'm not a set-top box, I'm this operating system. Right. You tell that to Hulu, so Hulu gives you back the full page, right. and then you can just do, do it right there, right through Boxy. So is Boxy a, it's just a software app that you run on the laptop? No, it installs on, um, on the, the, what do you call it, Apple TVs. Oh, so it's, oh, I see, so it's, it's an Apple TV hack or whatever? Take a look. Let's take a look at Boxy. Here we go. Like there have the been lots of programs to play your movies, music, and photos, but none are as powerful as Boxy. Boxy's free software brings all of your entertainment into one place. When you first install Boxy, it scans your media folders automatically to get the artwork for all your files. This takes a couple minutes, but here's what my media library not say automatically ever And it's not only the artwork, but the reviews and trailers that Boxy found on the internet. Boxy plays any non-DRM media. And it's compatible with nearly all file formats, including high definition and stuff I haven't even heard of. And because Boxy is an open source program, anyone can develop new applications and channels within the interface. Oh. And if you want to promote media outside of Boxy, it can automatically update your Twitter, Tumblr, and friend feed account. It's like I, mean, I, I like, like it. How, I love how the guy goes. It plays, it plays non-DRM stuff and stuff I've never even heard of. If he hasn't heard of it, why the fuck is he the spokesperson for Boxy? <laughs> <laughs> Shouldn't he like know what the player is? 1080p. <laughs> I know. Yeah, that's funny. I don't even know if we can do that. <laughs> Why are you pitching this? Well, I don't. <laughs> what do you want to do? Why do you Cartoons? Look at, why I don't do you think so. I mean, maybe. I don't even know. Let's I, ask think, Boxy. I think it could do that. Music from last FM. It says no. While you enjoy photos posted on Twitter. Oh, I love it. 
It's uh, something good, but I don't want an Apple TV. Apple TV didn't work. I don't want to I think fix you get, the Apple can TV. Can you install Boxy and other stuff? I don't know. Check the blog. I don't know. There's Whatever. just too much. Let's move next on to the next story. story. We've we been do? doing this for like an hour. I know. It's your story. Uh, last story. No. <laughs> <laughs> We're like seven away. I don't have another story after this. You need some? Wait, what? Oh, there we go. Yeah, I do. All right. Privacy works. Wolverine is a hit. 2,207 people dug the story submitted by Bixby1. Uh, despite Sorry. fears that the Wolverine leak, leak would hinder the film's performance, uh, studio execs woke up today pleasantly surprised to the tune of $35 million in one day. We don't really need to talk about this that much, but... $87 million in the weekend. This is, this More is than the, the second most profitable movie and the tenth, all, all those movies combined, didn't even add up to the first. That's why I think That's piracy is a good thing. Yeah, four million people downloaded it, and a lot more watch it. And I even knew, I mean, I'm not going to say who it was, but I would chat with friends, and they'd be like, oh, yeah, I watched Wolverine. And I was like, oh, what did you think? He's like, it's great. I can't wait to see it in the theater. Oh, interesting. Yeah. I mean, so many people were like, oh, it's awesome. I can't wait to see it, like, full screen in the movie theater. It's great. You know what I mean? Yes. <clears throat> um, I, no. What? You're probably wondering why I pulled it up this way. Yes, I am. Um, I was just going to quote this guy from the New Pornographers, which is a band, mm -hmm. that uh, I can't find it here. But one of the things that he was saying was that, I um, can't remember his name, AC something. I think that was this. Slater? Um, anyway, he, uh, he essentially was saying that he doesn't care if his albums leak because it, it's, to him, he believes that it promotes more sales. Bro, so people no start telling their friends yeah, about it. They start yeah. saying, like. No such thing as bad press, man. And I totally agree with that. Because at the end of the day, well, first off, you've got to trust your content, right? You've got to believe that what you're putting out is very, very good. Mm -hmm. If you don't believe that, then I think you should be as scared of piracy. Because if it's really crap stuff you're putting out, right. people can see it for free as crap, and they go, yeah, this is crap, I don't want to see it. Right. But if, it's, if you really believe in your content, who cares? Because people are going to want the real deal, you know what I mean? No doubt. AC Newman. AC Newman, Newman, that's it, yeah. So here's the thing. Yeah, exactly. Like, would you have ever have gone and see, uh, what was the movie with the dude, the big blue dude that had a large cock the entire time? Wolverine. No. I mean, uh, <laughs> Watchmen. Same basic movie title. Oops. Who, by the way, I almost ran over. Someone who was looking at Wolverine's cock the entire time. <laughs> Bro, it's big and blue. He's a wolf. Dude, I almost actually ran over Billy Crudup out in front of my house. Are you serious? <laughs> yeah, some people like, because my house is on a street that's pretty po like popular, and so people park. I'm sure you get the same thing here in, in San Francisco where people like kind of park in your driveway, and they're like, ooh, and then they dance that line, and pretty soon you're like, I can't even freaking pull into my driveway, you morons. Right. So I'm like driving, it and I see this big, uh, um, the Audi uh, A8, Eight. Eight, the big, the big like, daddy. yeah, the big uh, uh, the SUV. SUV. Q7. Oh, no, Q7, Q7 yeah. Q7. So I was like, oh, this guy, this douchebag is sitting in front of my parking lot. Dude, don't hang on out. He's <clears throat> well, no, it was just that I thought he was hanging into my driveway. So I was like, oh. And then I saw that he was getting into the back of his car. And I was like, oh, well, good. At least he's leaving. And literally, I was like, oh, I can make it. So I start, like, pulling into my driveway as he's walking around the front of his car. And so I basically almost hit him. And so I, like, stopped. I was like, Burr, whoop. And I was like, sorry, dude. And he was like, oh, it's okay. And I looked up. And I was like, Russ, Billy Crudup. Like, what? Get into his car? I almost killed him. Dude, that's freaking nuts. And then so many great Twitter response. A lot of people were like, actually, you could not have killed him because he's uh, um, Dr. Un or Dr. What? Dude, Dr. I Manhattan. Yes. So you couldn't kill him because he would just like, all of a sudden your car would be a banana. Dude, <laughs> that's awesome. You get to see all the crazy uh, people in LA. Well, you dude, live in that neighborhood. Dude, it, n honestly, the l I don't know what the last week, I just bumped into Chris Rock at the mall. I was like, what? Chris Rock is at the mall. It's weird. By bumped in, you mean you were like, that's Chris Rock. No, like literally, he was coming out <laughs> of the were bathroom. Like, you are like, what's up, bro? He's like, hey, what's up? No, no, no. Like, Good to see you. I didn't you. Like, bump into him like an old friend. I like, physically almost bumped into it. Like, he was coming oh, out of the bathroom. I, I was going into the bathroom. I was like, whoa, sorry. And I was like, that's Chris Rock. That's funny. And then I saw the chick from The Lost who was on like... Kate. No. Oh, who was on like two episodes ago. I want Kate's baby ago. so bad. The blonde chick. Oh, she's sister. hot as hell. Yeah. Didn't Kate marry the Hobbit? Yeah, yes, he Kate married. She married the Hobbit. Yeah. yeah. Uh, the Hobbit was in Wolverine. Yeah. Oh my God, is that her topless? No. Almost. No, that's not gonna happen. Dude, she. Although is have you seen her little uh, her little video of like the call? She's like on the call like uh, those like chat groups 
like the 976 chat group numbers. Oh, yeah. There's one where she's yeah, way yeah. old and she's like, I'm here to talk. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I was like, I oh my God, that. let's keep them lost. I think they did on 30 oh, okay, come on. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that like is that. my style the right there. That's my style. Like, how blazing hot is she? She's blazing a path to your heart. Do you, do you not agree? Is that not your style? There's a lot to be happy with there. There is a lot to, be, a happy lot to be happy with there. She's got there's that, like, down-to-earth look. There's some stuff for me that needs to be addressed, but, I mean... And by that, you mean <laughs> Yes, exactly. Dude, she has large breasts. No, she does not. But she's a very nice-looking girl. Hello. Yes. <laughs> oh, you are. You want the. Bro, we've right. gone on record. All right, well, sometimes. I'm a boob man. You're an ass man. Yeah. That's it. It's mm. on. It's been. Uh, watch any episode. I think it's actually. In, I think it's actually in our Wikipedia pages. <laughs> I think it is actually <laughs> on our Wikipedia <laughs> pages. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We should watch the show. <laughs> yeah, we should watch the show back. I'll be like, oh, man. You know, I was like watching that? the show the other day. It's fun to watch the show. I never watch the show anymore. I know. I hit play the other day when I was, like, doing some random shit around the house, yeah. and I found myself, like, laughing at a couple of yeah. things. We're it funny dudes. <laughs> <laughs> this is a very good show. Who knew? <laughs> it's weird, because I would almost subscribe to our own show. I know. And well, I'm, like, I'm like, that's weird. I can't subscribe to our show. Well, anyway. you, I mean, you could, but <laughs> I know what you mean. <laughs> oh, strange. All right. It's like shall a we get time this, warp. Shall we do sponsors real quick? Uh, let's do it. All right. Uh, first sponsor of the day, Click It or Ticket. Revision Three has joined with hundreds of other other <laughs> with hundreds of other state and local <laughs> law enforcement and <laughs> highway safety officials across the nation during the last two weeks of May to launch a Click It or Ticket seatbelt enforcement mobilization to crack down on low seatbelt use and reduce highway fatalities. With a new emphasis this year on convincing more motorists, motorists to buckle up day and night, in 2007 alone, seatbelts saved an estimated 15,147 lives, and an additional 5,024 lives could have been saved if seatbelts were worn at the time of crashes. Regular seatbelt use is the most, single most efficient way to help protect people and reduce fatalities in motor vehicle crashes. No lie, buckle up every single time. Oh, me too. I can't. I, How can you not? I always feel uncomfortable when I don't have a seatbelt on. I do too. It's like I've uh, actually done the seatbelt over <clears> two <throat> friends before. Like I've been in the car that was that was two packed. Cool, yeah. And I, I don't think this is a smart thing to do. And you shouldn't do. It. You should just take a cab or something. But I've actually gone over a friend who was female. And and and, and strapped in. No, I'm just saying. You're like, where's I, your seatbelt? I'm just right saying here. there wasn't a, there wasn't a dude on my lap when I was seatbelting <laughs> over the two of us. So my <laughs> arms and love will save you. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I love it. Yeah, um, dude, I'm huge seatbelt. There's just no excuse. I mean, honestly, there's no excuse. I mean, it's it's in the car. Like most this, cars have them. This is too much. Most like, cars have oh, them nowadays. I can't, oh, my arms are too. I can't. Uh, like, yeah. come on. I've, you know what I do it in? Actually, that most people don't do it in. Buses. Taxis. Oh. Most people do not seatbelt up in taxis. I do. I do. I do. Sometimes I, you know the taxis you have to can't dig even, down. Yeah, because and it's nasty taxis, as hell because yeah. there's all kinds of shit in there. Yep. Um, uh, what's the stuff? The hand sanitizer. Hand sanitizer. Purell. Purell takes care of that. Yeah. I don't carry Purell with me though. You should. No, Especially now that there's a swine oh, flu out dude, there. Dude, we should talk about swine flu. We already did at the top. Yeah, but are you, have you stocked up on antibiotics? What? Have you stocked up on uh, the anti-swine medicine? <laughs> you know what I'm talking yes, about? Yes, yes. Swine be gone. Vigon? What's it called? Be gone. <laughs> What's it called? Paraflu, right? No. 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 Uh, Tazaflu. Tam Tamiflu. 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 Yeah. Have you stocked up on Tamiflu? No. I've did got I? friends that are getting it. Like illegally from y Canada? Yes. Like, no, what they're doing is they're going in... There's a weird beep. I don't know. I know, what, I don't know. know what it is. Uh, it they're beep? going in and they're um, going to their doctors and be like, "Hey, I'm going to Mexico. I need some Tamiflu and getting Tamiflu and just keeping it at home and just in case they need it." Right, you're trying to do that. The doctor said no. Oh, it's that camera. Oh, shut the camera's it off. about to die. You can um, just go grab it. And Oh, actually, oh, it just shut off. So that's fine. Yeah. Um, Prager tried to go, to, and his doctor said, I won't give it to you because we're stockpiling in case there's an outbreak. And Prager wow. went to him twice and like, tried to explain it to him and had this whole thing, and the guy said, no, no, no. No way. He gave him carefully. And he was going. Another Prager, doctor. And he was going to Mexico. <clears throat> yeah. Prager. Oh, Prager. Dude, internet, Prager, what? So, what oh, uh, our friend Tim Ferriss sent out a tweet on, on Twitter saying, like, I need some, I'm traveling, and got some. Uh, I'm Prager sure that'll be good, high quality stuff. <laughs> <laughs> no, he, he, he got it from a, a doctor. A doctor hooked him up. Oh, that's cool. So, yeah, so. Oh, I should do that on Twitter. 
Hey, I don't know. My I back hurts. I'm not really that worried about it. I'm I'm actually not that worried about it either. I mean, it is killing us though, right? It's killing people that are like healthy and middle aged. Not, not in the U.S. Not in the U.S. No. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it, it, this flu. You yeah. get the, you get well, the flu. Well, but here's the thing, and I think this is the takeaway from all the crazy hype about it, which is if you start to feel flu-like symptoms, just go to your doctor. Don't do what you usually do, which is like wait it out. Damn it, I'm sick. Okay. I'll just sleep all day today, eat soup, like the normal stuff that you do. Now that all this crazy stuff is happening, if you start to feel sick, just go to the doctor and the but doctor will go, oh yeah, your nose I, is going up like well, this, that's the swine flu. I would <laughs> say go to the doctor if you're getting flu-like symptoms, that's right? That's exactly what I just well, said. No, 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 but I got, I got a cold like a week ago. Yeah, cold is not a flu-like like, symptom. I was like, cold uh, is a cold-like symptom. Little, like, little like, you know, nose stuffy and stuff like that. Fever, nausea. Didn't have fever, didn't have nausea. Fever, didn't. nausea, go to the doctor. Cold chills. Yeah. Chills. Anyway, good luck. Uh, and if you. <laughs> <laughs> Anywho, all right. Also, GoDaddy.com. Looking to drive viewers to your video content? Then get a dot TV. Maybe if the <laughs> island doesn't sink. Uh, domain name and set up. We didn't even know this. We didn't, we know, didn't know this. this. Dot TV uh, domain names are preferred for podca podcasters, video bloggers, anyone who wants to say something with video, and they're available now at GoDaddy.com. Plus, enter the code DIG3 when you check out, and you get and register your donate domain name for seven forty nine. Summer six supplies. See for details. Get your piece of the internet at GoDaddy.com. Also, be sure to check out Revision3.com slash GoDaddy for all of the Dignation GoDaddy deal and codes. We get a lot of people who are like, oh. Dignation, I wanted it with TV, but I want to come. Is there any other offers that you guys are doing? Where the there's are. lots of offers, so go over there and figure out the one that fits you best. Sweet. Check out all the Dignation stuff you can get at the Revision 3 store. We've got pint glasses, bottle openers, Ooh. hats, Ooh. and Dignation shirts. And we've got a brand new blue Dignation shirt. Ooh. Find it all at store.revision3.com. I have not seen the blue Dignation shirt. I'm I haven't either. Right Let's now. see what it looks like. Uh, Prager's on why there. is Prager wearing... Don't. <laughs> what's new? Let's go. What's new? I love how Prager is like one of the models. Yeah. <laughs> Scary. Oh boy. Like this clearly all, all our Revision Three staff. We got to hire some models for the yeah. store. I mean, seriously. Yeah. I love everyone that works at Revision Three. Go to Dignation or something. Sometimes. It's not up on one time. I know, Dick, <coughs> Veronica Belmont. Yeah, we got Veronica Belmont. Wait, why can't you, you have, have Veronica Belmont? What are you talking about? <laughs> Just ask her to do it. Go up to T-shirts. Yeah, why is Veronica not in, in some awesome stuff? I'm just going to put you on that. Working on that? Yeah, we'll work on it. Uh, is there a drop down? Maybe that's a drop Okay, down. we can't find the Blue Dignation, Blue Dignation shirt. shirt. We'll click oh, the Dignation you know what? shirt. They know this isn't coming out for another couple of days, so they're probably going to put it in the store in the next couple of days. Yeah. We're idiots. We'll try Dignation shirt and then see if there's a Dignation more. Search Dignation. for no, no, no. Dignation. Click her, her, the Dignation shirt. Oh, click her. Yeah, no, it's not there. Okay, so maybe it isn't up yet. So you guys are seeing it before we're seeing it. What is that all about? Wait, all right. Say, there's this one girl that works at Revision 3 that I think is pretty cute. I can never remember her name, though. Stephanie Chu. Which one? No. Her. <laughs> Stephanie oh, Chu. Oh, Camilla? What is her name? Camilla. Camilla. Yeah, that's right. Camilla. Yeah, she's got these sweet tats going down her arms. She's got... Uh, you do know that this is, like, totally coming out, right? She's got tattoos on her arms. I don't care if she, I can say she's cute. There's nothing yeah. wrong with that. No, I love it. It's good. Your catchphrase from uh, uh, yeah, to infinity and beyond. Right Epic. Right Dude, what? And it's all in cursive. It looks sick. Yeah, but it says to infinity and beyond. Dude, got to meet her. What up? You have met her. Swedish. I should meet her more often and read her Swedish. arms. She's Swedish. She's she is sweet. sweet. Yeah, she's really? I don't know. All right. Swedish. She's a really nice girl. Super nice. She's uh, really good too, which does. Yeah. What did she do? Uh, she works like behind the camera, like making sure that all the shots are set up and studio okay, stuff. Yeah. Oh, okay. All right. All right. Last story. <coughs> Windows 7 release candidate goes live. 3,028 people dug the story, submitted by St. Park 6985. The wait is over, folks. Microsoft has published the download page for Windows 7 RC. As we, earlier, uh, as we noted earlier, the download was scheduled to launch tomorrow and was <coughs> available worldwide. Coming straight from the download page, here are Microsoft's notes on the released Did you candidate. install it? I have yet to install it, and here's why. You're old. No. That's why you haven't installed it. If you no. were 16 again, you would be downloading that no. shit the second it came out. Bro. Is that right? Bro, no. The reason why is because I couldn't freaking download it because everybody's getting slammed. I couldn't download it. 
Honestly, I tried because I was like, this would be great. I, went, I mean, I have the beta, Windows 7 beta right here. I was like, great, I'll upgrade to the Windows 7 release candidate. Click on awesome. download right now. Download it here. It may, all right, I'm going to see. Here we go, ready? If Hold this on. works, if then this you're works, lying. Then I'm a little bit lying. And I'm not actually English? lying, but it would be that it got, it went faster. Well, why didn't you try download this morning? Uh, because I was on a 6.30 flight or 6 a.m. Could have got up at 6 just to go and log in the computer. All right, let me see if this works again. Hold on. I did all this stuff. Admit that you're not as active as you used to be when you were a little kid. Because remember well, when no, we were Well, no, that's definitely true. That's, there's nothing, I'm, that's definitely true. That's your email address? No, that's my email address for this. <laughs> Chai? Who are you? Chai? Who are you? Chai. Uh, it's actually D. Kai Alex. I set this up back in the day when I was in uh, college. Hmm. Tech enthusiast, consumer. You know how many people are going to try and figure out what domain name? Guess what, what extension. It's not Hotmail. It's the one that starts with Y. <laughs> Ymail? Yep. I'm in Yugoslavian mail. <laughs> Dot YT. Dot YT. All right. I love it. I think we're done. <clears throat> yeah, dude, I'm downloading. Whatever. So I'm super excited. B bro, this was not at all like this before, believe me. Because as soon as I saw this on Dig, I was like, downloading Nizau. Um, although I need to get Damien tools or something because I don't want to have to burn the CD. Um, anyway, what do you all have? Right. A blank CD? I do. I do. I do. Done. Look at that. At the airport on my way home, I'm totally going to install a release candidate. That's going to go. be a smart idea because I'm going to be connected to the internet somehow. Virgin America has Wi Fi. I know. I was Twittering on my way down. Nice. It was awesome. All right, here we go. Bro, did you see my TwitPic? Yeah, the crazy lady looking over your shoulder. Literally, I just took the TwitPic. I was like, ah! And then I saw it and I was like, the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> I was like, Jesus. All right. I need to get one of those like privacy screens. Like, what? <laughs> or like a box I can put my, like a hood I can put my head under. That's awesome. But I totally watched Hulu. So I, I watched 30 Rock on my way down. Dude, I've done video streaming on the plane. I love Amazing. It. Love it. Uh, All right, okay. emails. Emails from Alicia Ture. Hmm. Hi, I am a recent fan of the show and I love it. I was wondering what your opinion is on women in technology. The reason I ask is because I'm a woman in technology. I'm a geek Makes squad sense. agent as well as a college professor, teacher, Windows server courses. Awesome. Oh, Novell courses? As wow. well as Novell courses. <clears throat> I seem to always hit roadblocks when it comes to being a woman in technology. Either people think that I have no clue what I'm talking about or they will address any of my male coworkers before myself. <coughs> any advice? And uh, oh, we can call her. You guys can call her anytime. Love it. Well, let's cover Are we call. gonna call her right now? Might as well. All right. I love that we did that once on the show or twice now on the show. And they've never been and able to answer. Like, <coughs> okay. Yeah. Let's do a little dial here. This has not been pre-set up. We yeah, just she's probably not gonna be there. What the hell are we gonna say if she answers? By the way, just be like, hey, what's up? It's coming, Alex. We want to get a little more information on your. Oh, but we don't. Cancel speaker. Can you hear that? Yeah. Bring it back a little bit. You're causing a little interference. Oh, how's that? Maybe the other way. Good? Yeah, just move it out a little bit. Yeah, that's cool. What's her name? Alicia? Yeah. You guys never know when we're going to prank you. You got to seriously, like... Hey, it's Alicia. You missed me. Leave me a message. No, leave well, a message. Let's call, let's call back one more time, because sometimes they see the number, and they're like, I don't know who 415 is. But yeah, but when I do that, calling back immediately does nothing to fix that. I go, no, bro, leave me a fucking message. No, hold on. Watch. She'll answer <clears> now. All right. Yeah. She's not going to answer. She'll be like, who is this douchebag? Hello? Hello? Hey, it's Alicia. You missed me. All right, leave me a message. message. All right. To leave a voice message, press 1 or stay on the line. Yeah. To leave a callback number, press 2. Press 1. You may start your message now. Hey, Alicia. It is uh, Kevin Rose. Yeah, and Alex Albrecht from uh, the semi-popular web series, Dignation. We're just calling to say hello and uh, address your question. So, uh, Alex, what do you think? Uh, I think it's a good question. I am excited to talk about it on the show. Uh, oh. I am doing that right now. <laughs> this is weird. It's so meta. I don't even know what I'm doing. Okay, so he can't really help you. <laughs> I can help her, just not on the voicemail. Uh, but honestly, I think what you should do is um, you should one-up your coworkers and get more certifications than them. What? A little bit of, like, talk on the table. <laughs> <laughs> and since I don't have one of those, <laughs> certifications. <laughs> like, what? Well, you, you, <laughs> you see what I'm saying? No. <laughs> like, she, she's trying to get all these certifications for computer <laughs> stuff. Uh, Alicia, sorry. All right, we bye love bye. you. 
I feel. I love that you're putting the phone away like somehow it's on fire now. You just really screwed that one up. That poor, she's gonna be like, what are these guys doing? No. Um, so my advice is to really uh, for her to be a little bit assertive. If you know the answer to something, don't feel feel if even if they ask one of your other coworkers, jump in with the answer. Yeah, be like, bro, Bob doesn't know that shit. So what you need to do when you code it is do blah blah blah. Exactly. Well, the other thing is, you know, just be yourself. I mean, look, you're obviously successful. She's a professor. She's teaching. You know what I mean? There's some other things. And I'm not sure how old you are, but uh, the older you get, the, the more people will take you seriously, too. Sure. When so I was a, a young geek in technology and like 15, like even though I knew more than some of the older people yeah. that I was working with, no one even cared. Yeah. They, they trust the older people. So yeah. uh, anyway, thanks, uh, Alicia, for the uh, email. And cool. uh, hopefully uh, you'll your, get that our, out. our drunk ramblings on your uh, cell phone will somehow cause you some sort of piece of knowledge. Yes. All right, if you would like your email answered on the show, <laughs> please feel free to email us, dignationfans at gmail.com. That is it for this week's edition of Dignation. I'm Alex Albrecht. And I'm Kevin Rose. Until next time.